seven years old, I think, that I wanted to be a composer. That's because of I was rebelling against um, my piano teacher, I must say, because my piano teacher was very strict and then she wanted me to play exactly what the, the music I was learning at that time, which I didn't want it to do, um, just because I'm, I was a rebellious. So I decided if I write my own music, which is much more fun than practicing piano, so um, I, can, I can play whatever the way I want. So I was really into um, movie soundtracks, uh, especially horror movie, I must say, because that time, I don't know why actually, it's not that I was, in, I was a big fan of horror movie, but the soundtrack I was really interested in, that's probably because of the only in the film music world, uh, I think that the horror movie is the only one, only way that uh, extended techniques and a new strange sound and so on, uh, can be used as a film music, and then I really like that since uh, even when I was small. So that we have a string orchestra on stage, and then the rest of the brass and wing, uh, woodwinds are in the auditorium. And what I wanted to, um, and then also the solo bassoon is in the middle of the concert hall. And what I wanted to do there was that I wanted to create a um, forest. Uh, but the funny thing is that I have a very strange relationship with nature because I'm a very allergic person and I, I hate nature. I just, I just don't want to go into the forest or any of those things. And uh, I don't even like the sound of birds, which is singing right now, um, because they never sing the way I like them to sing. So. Um, I think not just this piece, but uh, entirely uh, why I compose music is that uh, I, I like to create a utopia, the, the world I want to live in, and otherwise I can control and I can design exactly the how I want to live in that world. So for this secret forest is that uh, it's a forest, but there's no allergy problems for me, and it's the birds will sing exactly how I want them to, and so on. When they asked me to write a piece, the director told me, uh, who's the conductor of this piece, Michel Cerutti, who is also a percussionist in the Ensemble Intercontemporain. He told me that, Dai, yeah, it's good, I mean, you know, you do whatever you want, of course, but, you know, maybe not bowing the, you know, bowing the percussion instruments. I mean, that kind of thing, I'm not so sure, and so on. So, you know, it'd be good if you don't. So obviously, I went home and wrote a section of, um, not the entire tw 12, but probably 11 percussionists are bowing entirely. And uh, that section is then in the middle. That sounds to me, that part sounds to me, it's, yeah, um, sounds like uh, electronic mu music. For, for this disc, uh, it uh, includes um, some of the recordings from live performance, and then some of them are newly recorded in studio. And uh, uh, NMC was really kind enough to let me edit. Um, everything, uh, everything apart from mastering, so which is a great fascination for me because I mean that means I can, well that means I can control everything, every sound, every noise, everything. Mm -hmm. uh, this piece is written for uh, three uh, Western instruments and then two Japanese traditional instruments. And um, it's funny for me, uh, I grew up in Japan until 15 years old, but I have never seen or very much in contact with Japanese traditional music at all. First, I wrote Okeanos Breeze, which is the last movement of this five movement work. And Okeanos Breeze, which uh, um, uses the show and koto, which is a show is a mouth organ and koto is sort of zither, which is a Japanese traditional instrument. And I had to actually go around to those players' house, to houses, to actually to learn or to see what what do they do. I mean, because I mean, I sort of know, I guess, how to write for violin or oboe, oboe or clarinet, but um, show and, and koto had no idea. So I really started uh, studying the instruments. Uh, that was a great joy for me, and uh, as I, I as I am always interested in uh, uh, music culture from different countries, uh, because of my, I'm originally from Japan, and I just don't want to write this uh, something which is sort of ex expected, meditative, maybe slow music and with a gong ringing and so on, which is which is which I think is sort of picture of a Japanese composer 
writing uh, music world, um, which I don't want to do. And then that's not uh, my nature anyway. I don't think so, but a lot of people think I'm quite an energetic guy. I speak very fast and so on. So um, my music should reflect, re reflect that, I think. And um, so I, I think the way I try not to include those, that, that I try to avoid exoticism also, of course. And, uh, but the main reason is, as I said, it's a, my utopia should not have borders.